YouTube. So here is me in my little chill room, hobby room. See my little wall of RC cars for the family. We have an unboxing to do. ECX Torment by Horizon Hobby. Charge ahead, waterproof, on the road, ready to run. Smaller brawler. Pretty cool, huh, Cosmos? Yeah, I think he, he's going to enjoy it. So we're going to set you guys right here. Because I don't have my GoPro case. And uh, let's get down to the unboxing and see how this goes. That way while I lean up against my wall, got a chair and... Grab some trusty scissors. Now, this is 118 scale. It's got a cool black body on this side. Nice artwork. Oh man, shaft drive. So it's just like my wife's ECX Roost. Um, waterproof, I'm pretty sure. I think all these, well they're not really waterproof, splash proof. So, let's go ahead. So the box, you got the truck all in here, nicely packaged, you know, like a cover, protective plastic just in case it falls off. It's probably zip tied in. This is probably the charger, the remote. It's just like my wife's uh, ECX roots. You're gonna have to like put a name tag on it. It's the exact same color. Um, let's go ahead and get it out of here. Dude, uh -oh. and our camera fail, camera epic fail. But anyways, as you see in the box, as I was getting that out, and you guys took a tumble. We have the instruction manual here. It's got batteries in it. Looks like we got spare gears. Oh, I'm gonna have to grab our scissors. Be careful when you're holding. Got our batteries, spur gear, got some suspension couplings, dampen out the suspension, make it stiffer. It's pretty good for 100 bucks. Let's look and see if it's actually an instruction manual. Oh, look at that. It's actually a booklet. Well, let's get this box out of the way. These parts, it's like the quick start. And we'll just take that and toss it over there. Oh man, booklet looks pretty good front to back. Probably goes through all the languages and everything. All right, let's grab our big boy scissors. We're just gonna cut those. Like I said, this is probably a charger, which we already know. Nice charger. Takes eight hours to charge it. It's got a, uh, one of the blue plugs. I believe these are like a Dean style, but not for sure exactly the real name of them. Um, let's check out this truck. Let's get this truck all nice and steady. Let's set you guys back over here like this, right? And then I'll go ahead and cut the remote out, the remotes. Gonna take four batteries, four AA batteries on the bottom here. And then also, not only do you have your trim for your throttle and for your steering, but you also get extra throttle and trim steerings for like the speed of your servo, which is also cool because a lot of ready to runs, entry level RC hobby grades I've noticed don't come with that so um, 
yeah and stuff. That's that's nice. Let's get the truck off the box platform. There is zip tied, two zip ties here, so you'd want to cut those. It's a nice short course truck. It's got oil fill shocks. Nicely painted body. It's just painted one color underneath. The decals are actually added on pretty good. They're not like peeling up or anything like some of the old school ready to runs where they would just quickly put together. You would have to go back and re stick them on. Let's take the body off real quick. Now this is one eighteen scale. Body. Over here is the uh, 118 scale uh, Traxxas Latrax, but it's still a Traxxas Latrax SST. Uh, it's an awesome truck. I'm right now I'm redoing the depths and redoing the bearings. It's a fun truck, fun truck. And uh, I want to give a shout out to the Hobby Shop uh, where I got this from and get all my cars from. Nike and Hobbies. You know, if you live in the Michigan area, there's three locations. Nike and Hobbies, so you got one in Yipsy, that's the one that I like going to, that's like my favorite one, I mean, I'm not biased or anything, I just like it, you know, you got one in Farmington, um, uh, down in the description, I will have the locations of them, and you also have one in Westland, um, they're awesome hobby shops, there's a lot more around, but I just like those, they're pretty good people, they're pretty knowledgeable, they got the drones, they got the RC cars, they got the boats, my kids like it all, so this is what we get into but anyways back to the car um full ball bearing um it's oh it's got a 380 size motor so it's going to keep up with my wife's roost exactly like the roost good thing about it is it has a spectrum servo in it i really like these spectrum servos um the other cars that we have some of them you know some of the servos are slower we'll do a review i didn't this is my first open boxing so um yeah it's an awesome car. I'll get a running review of it. Like I said, this one's gonna be pretty cool. Gonna do the first charge on it, eight hour charge. The battery, you actually need a flathead screwdriver. It has a battery tray at the bottom for the battery to come out. And you simply just pull this out. The battery comes out so that we can charge it. It's a 900 milliamp nickel high my battery again with the blue plug blue style plug pretty lightweight without the battery uh, pretty heavy let's compare it to my wife's roofs the only thing different is, is it don't have the plug for the electronics for the lights the roof comes with lights 118 scale we right back This is my wife's roots. This is the ECX roots. Exact same car. Exact same build out, except this one just has lights. It's a like desert style buggy, short course. So they have different varieties. They also have a, another one that's called the Ruckus 118 scale, four wheel drive, splash proof. Pretty fun. Um, hope you guys like the unboxing and everything. Uh, I know I did it a little bit fast or whatever, first time. But uh, please like and share. And as always, peace and love, YouTubers. Peace out. All right, now, going about comparing these two vehicles, like I said, they both have the shock tower braces, like on my wife's. Um, both have 380 size motors, so they're both going to be wicked fast. Well, we know this one's wicked fast. So we know this one's going to be awesome fast, too might handle a little different because it's got a truck body versus this one has an endeavor desert buggy body and it's a little bit heavier with the plastic and actually it's pretty lightweight even with the lights on it and like i said it has a connector which also goes to this connector that goes down into here one of these splitters probably goes into the receiver box which will give you lights which probably if you just order that part you can do the same thing to this truck if you wanted to um, they're both awesome vehicles. 
can't wait in the morning when the kids wake up and we can get this one out on the track. We'll go ahead and probably get a GoPro mount for it and do a ride around with the GoPro on it. Get some hop-ups for them. Do a little hop-up video for it and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, that's a look at both of the vehicles side by side. The tires are about the same size. No difference in the tires. This one has a short course rear bumper, which I like. Might be adding that to the roost. So I mean, the roost I have a bumper because the roost doesn't come with a bumper. Um, the slipper, to adjust the slipper, you gotta take um, the cover off. You also gotta take the uh, drive shaft cover off, which you have to remove some wires out of the way. Same thing over here. And there'll be a little bolt down there that'll let you adjust your slipper. I noticed that when we were hitting jumps and going in and out of reverse, the slipper slips on it. I'll be checking the gears and doing a rebuild video on that. This, I'm going to go ahead and tear it down first thing. Check the slipper on it. Make sure it's good to go so that way when it goes on the track, no issues there. The only issues that I have about the uh, Horizon Hobby products, they're just like a Losi, but they're like a cheaper brand of a Losi. Inside the sliders here, there's a little bit of play. Not that much play. But over time, as you can see, of driving the vehicles around, you get a lot of play. I believe there's an easy fix for that. Maybe like a bearing had a set up because these bearings are the bushings that are in the back. There's only bearings in the front. But this one seems to be a little bit stiffer with the full bearings going all the way around. So I'm gonna be ordering the bearing setup for the roof.